Self-belief and hard work will always earn you success. No cricket team in the world depends on one or two players. The team always plays to win. I do believe in God. But you won't find me visiting temples every now and then. I believe in self-realization. Peace of mind matters a lot to me. What's the point in doing something just for the sake of it? I'd rather do something I like doing as long as I'm being true to myself. I love playing under pressure. In fact, if there's no pressure, then I'm not in the perfect zone. Whatever you want to do, do with full passion and work really hard towards it. Don't look anywhere else. There will be a few distractions, but if you can be true to yourself, you will be successful for sure. I like to be myself, and I don't pretend. For instance, I don't dress up for occasions, I am what I am. The bat is not a toy, it's a weapon. It gives me everything in life, which helps me to do everything on the field. On the field, aggression can sometimes be a positive emotion. It boosts performance and can lift your game. But over the years, I have learned that restrained aggression is a better animal. That way, you will conserve your energy and won't spend yourself quickly. I delayed my father's funeral because of cricket. I always dreamt of holding the bat and winning games for India. That was my inspiration to take up cricket. Probably because I'm from a middle class family, I have that nature in me that I don't get too excited with big things. Pretension is a poor joke that you play on yourself. Snap out of it. Recognize your strengths. Work on your weaknesses. Real achievement is liking what you see in the mirror every morning. A fit body gives you confidence. And there's nothing more impressive than a great attitude, which you can wear on your sleeve. But you'll have to remember the difference between being rude and being confident. I want my wardrobe to be full of good clothes, so that when I'm deciding what to wear, I don't run out of options. I love shopping. The people you choose to have around you make all the difference. My family and close friends keep me grounded. You have to have a mind of your own and a strong head on your shoulders. Cricket is the most important thing to me so the rest of it pales in comparison. Irrespective of whether you have talent or not, one has to work hard. Just being talented doesn't mean anything, you can end up wasting it before you realize. I support Real Madrid. I'm a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. Becoming an inspiration for kids is great. I want to inspire them to do whatever they want to. Everyone loves a win in India. No one wants to lose a match. It is the cricketer who absorbs all the pressure. In the game of cricket, a hero is a person who respects the game and does not corrupt the game. The one who doesn't or corrupts the game, they are the villain. They should be punished and they have been punished in the past. I always had a sense of discipline in me. However, there was a time when I couldn't divide my time properly between off-field things and on-field assignments. The focus would be missing at times, and that would affect my preparation for matches. I managed to change that. In cricket, my superhero is Sachin Tendulkar. He has always been my hero and will continue to remain so. Apart from him and outside cricket, my mother has remained my inspiration. 
whatever difficult time I had faced, she was always there for me. She has given me all the strength. She maintained her composure and supported me in tough times. You have to stay fresh and blank in your mind when you go out to bat. You complicate things, and you're gone. I don't really read a lot of newspapers. I don't pay attention to what is being said or written about me. I've had lots of experiences in the past when I got too much into it. That sort of diverts your focus. I love wearing whatever is comfortable, and that could be something which was in trend years ago. So, I don't follow fashion. A lot of people tell me a lot of things about my conduct, my game, my future, but I try to stay away from their words of wisdom. I don't let it distract me. On the field, you will be facing the ball alone. If you fail, you will be the only one to blame. So, you should be the one deciding for yourself. I wasn't very good in academics, but I could have been if I could have studied well. I was a smart kid. Endorsements are a reward for good performance on the field, and the commitments made after signing them need to be done. My shopping habits. I am not very brand conscious about clothes. I buy whatever looks good on me. Likewise, I don't just shop only in malls or high-end stores. It undoubtedly feels nice when you are being appreciated and you get complimented by girls. Who doesn't like that? Having said that, I don't take it as any pressure. I love soccer. Love tennis. Roger Federer has been a favorite for a long, long time. The kind of consistency he has shown, 16 Grand Slam titles. The way he handles himself in pressure situations is admirable. He is so calm. In soccer, I'm a huge fan of Barcelona. I like watching Cristiano Ronaldo. Lionel Messi and David Villa. There are two bowlers who I think are very tough to play against, Dale Stain and Morn Morkel. I do not abuse players. I talk to myself. I abuse myself. It's my way of letting off steam. I do it after every century. I do not do it always. I keep telling myself. Improve improve from the previous match, the previous shot. You can do it. I've never fought with anyone. A lot of people talk to me, and they're like, oh, you would have been fighting all the time when you were younger, but I'm like, I never fought with anyone because I always knew that if I hurt myself, I might lose important time in my cricket career so I never got into any fight, ever in my life. As a kid, even I knew everything about my favorite cricketers. I used to know everything possible. Now I see kids knowing about me.